since I have been talking to friends who are truly saved, set apart Christians. They wholeheartedly believe in the Lord and His power and what He can do for them. Except they do not believe that God can remove all the tragedies, struggles that they have had in the past. And I just wanted to share with the saints this straight talk that a lot of times when we talk about our past and how it hurt us it's because of our unwillingness to forgive. Notice from personal experience. So about that. Until you can actually forgive a person that harmed you, hurt you, destroyed you, broke you, you will stay that way. That they left you. Some people could be out of their life, but they leave scars. And it's best for you to recognize that those scars are not for you to carry all your life. And some people, it brings them down in a deep depression. It brings them down in a... Uh, a way that they just can't function. They just a walking robot. They're getting everything done, they got a smile on their face, but in reality they are hurting. So I'm asking everybody to join me today, this Saturday and Sunday, praying for those people that are hurt. I will continue to post things to help you get over your hurt. But I'm telling you, the best recommendation for all that misery is forgiveness. And it doesn't happen overnight. Sometimes praying a year before you can get it off your back, you'll never forget, but at least the hurt from it. will not strangle you, tie you down, keep you from reaching out to friends. I know how some of you feel that it's my problem and I need to, we go to church every Sunday. Praising the Lord, shouting glory, getting rid of everything that hurt us during the week but not a long distant past. So what is my solution? To forgive, to forgive. And under this video, I will paste um, many, many ways you can approach forgiveness. But my spirit is telling me so many people are hurting right now that they, oh Jesus, this is just hurting my heart. So I just say a prayer, Father God, in the name of Jesus, you know the pain that these people are suffering, Lord. I ask you to please, please break them to where they have to come to you and ask for help in developing forgiveness, Lord. But keep them strong, Lord. Bend them, but don't break them. In the name of Jesus, I pray. I love each and every one of you. I'm going to tell you, when something happened with one of y'all, I feel it. And I have to say something about it when I feel it. Take care.